Hello, Hammerheads. Thanks for tuning in. Well, sorry, I'm just. Oh, God. I'm sick of getting things stuck in my bloody teeth. No, I've just been to the shop, right? Um, to Mal's. Went for like 12 cans of beer and. While I was there, I found some packets of chewbits, you know, fruit salad ones and strawberry ones. So, uh, I just bought a load of them. But my sweet cupboard is getting really low, running very low, very dry. Just have to stock up. And Mal's, fuck Woolworths, WH Smith's, all them pick and mixes from years ago. Mal's has got them all. Not pick and mix, but everything in bags. You know what I mean? Even aniseed fucking twists in there. Oh, they're not as good as when I was a kid, though. I had some cough candy ones the other week, and um, they were a bit weird. You know what I mean? Tasted of chemicals or something. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> But anyway, oh god, another tangent. I was, um, I went to Mal's, right? Dressed exactly how I am now. Only, I didn't have me, I had to take my skirt off and put these leather jeans on. <laughs> That's a bit much going to the shop with a mini skirt and you know fishnets, <laughs> boots. Um, so I thought I'll just I'll put me leather jeans on. I'll go like that, and you know it's a bit embarrassing. Was I had to ring my friend up in Sunderland. I says, "Can you ring me up?" So I'm nearly out of charge, and that. Cause I'm on the way to Mal's and I'm dolled up as Paula. And she's saying, oh, don't be silly. Just pretend you're taller or something. I've done that before. Then the phone fucking rang, didn't it? I look the right idiot. <laughs> it was in front of me bloody supervisor at work years ago and all. <laughs> and I said it was, oh, it's an important call. All of a sudden, um, so I didn't want to do that. But anyway, <laughs> get this. I couldn't. Just my luck. It could only happen to moi. I'm telling you. <laughs> I get all the way there, right? Plonks me <laughs> beer on the counter. And me sweets. Hi, uh, mate, are you all right? Not. This is, and I thought, shit, different pants on and all that. Debit card, debit card. Lack of one more, like. Uh, I said to him, oh, can you keep that bag there? It was embarrassing. There was a load of bloody Ukrainians in front of me and all, and all looking, ooh, what's he gone? What's he leaving without his bag of shopping for? <laughs> and anyway, <laughs> goes all the way on. Oh. When I'm here, I had half a joint left in the ashtray, so I had the rest of that oh, calm my nerves. I had to go all the way back out again. <laughs> Dolled up to the nines and that. God almighty. Well, <clears throat> not many people... Give me a second glance. Just one lass in front of me, but I couldn't place the face. She used to actually work in that shop. And, um, I'm just surmising that she's a lesbian because she's very butch. You know, I'd, I wouldn't like want to pick a fight with her. <laughs> 
and, and oh, it's just me guessing you know what I mean it could be wrong could be wrong <laughs> she might be a complete dumb <laughs> with this little sissy in the basement all chained up <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that was what happened. <laughs> Can't believe it. All the courage to go to the shop. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to come back and go back again. <laughs> hey, I'm not bothered. The more I venture out, the braver I'm getting, to be honest. Somebody said to me in a chat room the other night, actually, and it was a very good point, actually. It was, um, there is nothing brave about letting people know that you're not frightened. Bear that in mind. That's the sort of a quote I would have come out with, really, isn't it? <laughs> I'll see you.